Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, we are from Group 4. Today we will bring we will bring presentation about uh, grammar or structure of sentence. This is our group member. The first member is me, Nurul Hikmah. The second member is Dafa Akmal Hakim. The next member is Muhammad Zidan Zaki. And then the next member is Suwanto. And the last member is Desi Mariati Robben. This is our agenda today. Um, we will give you a presentation about simple present tense, simple past tense, simple future tense, injury of comparison, and passive voice. The first presentation is about simple present tense. First one, talk, time is yours. Okay, simple present tense is from of test us to describe something that is happening now at a specific time. Is the simple present tense one to state a phrase to the describe of a habit or event that is done by them is the for them phrase. Three to describe feeling or emotion. Four to express ownership and logic religion type. Five to converse opening and talks. Six as in the sentence of interaction. Seven as in con- condition sentence of type, type one. Formula and express of sentence in in the simple present tense. Subject plus book one plus object. Simple. I a social media. Two subject plus does or does not plus book one. Simple. They do not use the use social media. Three. Do or does plus subject book one plus object. Simple. Dot. Does he as social media? Next. Swanto, thank you for the explanation. We are moving to the next presentation. The second material is about simple past tense. Sim- the simple past tense is used to talk about a complete action in a time before now. The simple past is the basic form of past tense in English. The time of the action can be in the recent past or the distant past and action duration is not important. Simple past tense affirmative. The formula is subject plus verb 2 plus object or subject plus was or where. Uh, the first expect The first example is Abdul went to Bali for holiday last Sunday. She joined English club class at school yesterday. She was angry because she was late. The second part of simple past tense is a simple past tense negative. The formula is subject plus did plus not plus verb one or subject plus to be was or where plus not. The example is, I did not sleep well last night, Rani did not come to the office yesterday, and she was not happy because she were late. Uh, the, third, the third part of simple past tense is simple past tense interrogative. Formula, the formula is date plus subject plus verb 1 or was plus where plus subject. The example is, Did you see my bag on the table? The second example is Did the student come to school? And the last example is Was she angry because you were late? Now, we are moving to the next presentation. Uh, the next material is about simple future tense. Desi Maria de Robben, time is yours. Future tense. 
Simple culture dance is a form of dance used to denote and even in the future. This dance form is one of the most basic dance and is often used in reading and speaking in English. The use of this dance is synonymous with the word will or shall or be going to. Simple future trends to be able to make they see this cheat vision spontaneously to be able to do something. Example with a minute I will go to the market. Simple future trends to be able to ready the future. Example the two will not ever happen. Continuous tense can be used to express an argument, a plan that has been talked out and discussed with other. Example, I'm visiting, I'm visiting your room tomorrow. For Desi Maria Teropen, thank you for the explanation. Uh, the next material is about the degree of comparison. For Muhammad Zidan Zaki, it is yours. Okay, degree of comparison. In grammar, the degrees of comparison or comparative degrees relate to adjective and adverbs. First, positive degree. Positive degree is the simplest form of comparative degree. Positive degree is used to show that two things being compared are are at the same or comparable level. The formula is positive degree. S plus positive degree S. That's what we look at. That's all the time, brother. It is smart. Second, comparative degree. Comparative degree is used to compare something that has more properties to the other things. It is comparative degree. Dafa, for Dafa, time is 
Así, pues. Así. Así. Así, pues, is a form of sentence where the subject receives action, not do the action. Unlike an active voice that focuses on the party carrying out the action, this form focuses more on the party or object that receives the receipt of an action or the recipient of the action. I know this might sound confusing because active voice and passive voice is sound the same. To make it easier, I will give a small example of the passive voice. The first example is the house was built in 1998. The reason why I underline is because I emphasize that we are interested in the house, not who made it. The second example is the road is being repaired. We are interested about the road, not who repaired. Voice formula subject plus to be M is R plus past participle. In simple present, the formula is M or is or R plus past participle. In present continuous, M or is or are being plus past participle in simple past the formula is was or were plus past participle in past continuous tense formula is was or were being plus past participle present perfect the formula is has or have been plus past participle in past perfect the formula is had been plus past participle in simple future will be plus past participle m or is or are will to be plus past participle in future perfect will have been plus So this is the end of our presentation. We are from group 4. Thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you next time.